We'll look at drawing a squiral with iteration. First, we'll review the iteration pattern. Here I have three scripts that use the iteration pattern. This first one sets the variable my note to 60, then it repeats 10 times, and each time it plays the note, my note, for half a beat, and changes my note by one. Let's watch the variable my note while we run this. So each time through the loop, it changes the variable my note and also plays my note. Here's another example where we set my number to 10. My number is a variable. Then we're going to repeat this time 11 times. And we're going to say my number. And each time we'll change my number by negative 1. So this will count down from 10. And actually it'll say 10 through 0 because we're going to repeat 11 times. Let's watch how my number changes and see what the cat says. Two seconds might be a little longer than we need. Let's have it play for half a second. And look how my number ends at negative one, because after we say the last number, which is zero, it changes my number by negative one. This next one doesn't look as much like the iteration pattern, but it also is. So here, just like I set the variable my note, I set tempo, and tempo is a provided variable. Then I repeat, and here on the bottom, I change the tempo, so that's my variable, I change the tempo by 20. In the other examples of our iteration pattern, it was easier to see how we use the variable. Here we played the note my note, and here we said the number my number. But here we're going to play a drum for one beat, and one beat is determined by the tempo. So here, we're actually using that variable tempo. Let's listen. Cool. I've made a reset script that I can use to clear the screen. And I've also made two scripts that are hidden right now to draw a squiral, which is like a spiral, but square shaped. Look how size changes in this first version. Could you see how it would get smaller and smaller? Now I'll clear it again, and now I'll draw a different version. Check it out. Could you tell what was different about these two? Let me do the first one again. Here, I started on the outside of the squiral, and on the second version, I started on the inside of the squiral. When you're making the squiral, you'll need to make a decision about which direction you want to go. Let's watch one more time and see how the variable size changes. So there, size kept getting bigger, and size is how long each of these sides is. What about the other version? Here, size keeps getting smaller. The squiral is another example where you're going to use the iteration pattern. It'll just be a little bit trickier. Good luck!